Aaron, did the way Luis Severino threw the ball tonight and broke through the balls tonight impress you considering it's been 707 days since he's been on a major league mound? Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, proud moment for him and for his teammates and for all of us that, you know, have seen him go through, you know, a lot. We're talking about a, a great pitcher in this league that, you know, has, has obviously had the injury bug and battled different things and, you know, kind of worked his tail off to get to this moment. And, you know, when you say that 707 game, days between being on a big league mound, you know, there's got to be, you know, rust, nerves, all of that going out there. And I thought he handled himself really well. Um, I thought it was a good game to get him into, a great first step for him. Um, you know, I thought he executed a number of different pitches within the course of the outing. Um, and, and hopefully a, a step forward for him to, you know, help us here down the stretch you mentioned a good first step for him just what type of a factor do you think he could be for you down the stretch it's Luis Severino so I'm not going to put a you know I'm not going to I'm not going to cap what that could be I mean we'll see you know I mean it's it's pretty late here in the season but that's a talented person and a great pitcher and so I don't want to you know I don't want to put too much too many expectations on him but i'm not gonna limit what he's capable of here down the stretch and what kind of role he could he could serve in so just but tonight you know we celebrate him and and just his journey back to a major league mound really happy for him and proud of him it seemed like me. a lot of the guys were Sorry. on the top, top step of the dugout just what was the reaction like in the clubhouse after the game as he came back in I'm really exciting um you know you know he got obviously presented with the belt and had his had his first strikeout ball um you know and I just think he just felt great to be a part of it you know not that he hasn't been a part of it because he's here and he's sevy but um you know I, you know I think there was some emotion in his voice of just you can imagine the 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 hard work to get back to this point and I think uh having your teammates there to really share in it with you celebrate in it with you um it's a good night for him Tom Merriam go ahead Aaron was this a game off the drawing board getting home runs from your 330 home run hitters plus a strong start and strong bullpen yeah at one some point I said I like when when G Judgey and Gallo Homer so um yeah, that was nice. I thought Monty was really good. Monty, I, I, I really liked Monty because I thought he struggled a little bit there in the fourth inning. Um, and I, I thought he just made a really good adjustment there and came out and was on the attack in the fifth inning and, and worked efficiently. There was energy. He got right back into the strike zone. Um, but for him to go out, pitch into the six and really give us a strong outing, set us up nice tonight. Go next to Eric Boland. Aaron, how would you describe this season Montgomery has had for you guys? Really, really good. Um, you know, he's... I feel like he's gotten better. Um, just more mature and just everything. Physically and his body, you know, further removed, obviously, from the injury is able to put together a full season now. You know, obviously missed a little two-week stretch there with, with COVID, but, um, you know, I think he's he's kind of established himself as a really good pitcher in this league, and, and you know, he's, he's, he's confident, too. He knows he can go out, and when he's on his game, he's, he's capable of holding down any offense. And then uh, back to Severino, you weren't here, but at, at the end of 16, he came in, he used as a reliever for a variety of reasons, was really good. Mm -hmm. Not all starters are able to do that. What does he have, do you think, that, that allows him to be one of those starters that you can put him in a bullpen and, and can be potentially successful? Well, first and foremost, I mean, he's a, he's a great pitcher, so he has, he has the repertoire that, you know, if, if you can – you know, learn the, the ins and outs of how to get ready and, you know, how to kind of harness but use the adrenaline to your favor. Um, you know, he's a strike thrower. Um, 
you know, and, and obviously that was a different time for him where he struggled a little, took it, took his lumps a little bit as a starter and kind of found himself in the bullpen before going back to becoming a really good starter, obviously. Um, but, I mean, I, I think that was a time when you just saw a young, talented pitcher kind of finding his way at the big league level.